And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pirate Ezreal. We're going to be playing um, an Ezreal deck uh, with Bilgewater and with some Pirate stuff with Bilgewater. Um, we were originally going to just play Ezreal with no other champions at all, um, but decided to um, add in some buys in here as our, as our second champion. And a lot of these decks kind of played Twisted Fate sometimes, but we're, we're not really focused on Twisted Fate or stealing stuff. We're playing more of a straight-up deck, you know, getting a lot of damage removal in with our Ezreal. Of course, Make It Rain plus Ezreal is amazing. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of other good at damage stuff. Got a spicy one in here with Chumla Waters. That, you know, grants an enemy vulnerable. So I assume that, tar you know, targets for Ezreal gets a, a nice little 5-2. Um, lots of card advantage still with all these progress days. Um, early on, we got like the uh, the pickpocket that can steal games for us. You know, this is just a card that's like pickpocket's really good in like the Elise Callista metagame. Like it's really good at blocking both Elise and Callista, trading with those for two mana, which is nice. But then you can also, um, you know, if if you ever get to actually Nexus Strike, which isn't that often, but anytime that you do, you can just steal games with that. Deckhands Powder Keg let really turns on our Make It Rain, our Parlay, just everything else. Makes everything else a lot better. And then also just tries to block something with the 2-2 body. But yeah, here we go. Let's let's play some Ezreal. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. And let's have some fun. So playing against Twisted Fizz. Mega Rain's good at killing Fizz. But they could counter it. I hope not. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep the Ezreal and like these things. Like this could like obviously it, there's not it won't likely, but it potentially could level up Ezreal three, six, eight times just from these three cards. That's not necessarily the likely outcome. That is an outcome. It is possible. Hmm. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Yeah, beyond. Okay. Get another spell out, spell out of their hand. Safety. Gives them that Yordle Grifter. Your grifter. So yeah, with the mystic shot, they get to make that thing elusive. Speed things up a little. Use 
It's likely going to be the d demise of my Ezreal. Ugh, I just have that. Looks like I'm not going to be able to overkill Fizz. And discard Mega Rain because Mega, Mega Rain will never resolve. Out of static shocks, right? Because um, they they just played the static shock against me. They stole one static shock. out of eight. Yeah, so it's not looking good for us. Who says I don't see? Down to 10, and they have the two Mystic Shots. They level it up Fizz pretty fast. They could be getting a bunch of burn spells from me. Ugh, oh, Deckhand, why couldn't I have you first? A little too damage to both of those. Next turn is turn eight as far as like Riptide Rex is concerned. The best thing that could happen would be like I give him a mushroom cloud and they draw a puff cap for like the damage for, to turn on Riptide Rex for the plunder damage. That'd be the best case scenario. It's not very likely. I'm gonna try one though. I mean that that's just that would make my life a lot better. Come on, draw a puff cap. Darn. Played Ezreal as a chump blocker. This has zero synergy with the deck? I mean, well... That's not, that's not true. I mean, you need, you need spells 
I mean, it has, it has great synergy with Ezreal, right? When you have a leveled up Ezreal, you need spells in hand that you can play, and you get you get the uh, one mana burst spells to play with the leveled up Ezreal that kill your opponent. You still need to be able to kill your opponent with leveled up Ezreal. I can't, I can't beat this Fizz, though. Like, Rex doesn't do anything against Fizz. I can't beat Fizz. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, right. I'm at two. I thought I was at three. Never mind. I'm at two, and they have the, just the two warning shots. Unlucky. Turn one Fizz. Win the distance. Had like elixir of iron to protect it right away and everything and just and then uh all the warning shots and i could just never kill it and this deck you need to be able to point click that that kind of game was one like where we need vi right like that's that's like a definition of a game like where we need vi and vi be able to challenge the fizz um but no no vi for us Please don't use Elixir of Iron. Elixir of Iron is so great. I do really like the Sejuani Teemo deck. It's a lot of fun to play. Definitely a fun one to play. Alright, we got three targets for... targets for Ezreal so far. We got some crazy eights in our hand. Two pair of eight drops. living the life, giving me 19 puff caps already. They are living the life. Now these progress days look really poor. Another progress day. Yuck. We drew every single one of our eight mana spells, all five of them. It's pretty silly.
That could have been worse. Obviously, I would have liked to save the Mega Rain for um, for Riptide Rex. I think we kind of have to do that, and just get some more damage on that thing because we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to play Riptide Rex before they just went to, straight to attackers. Yeah, we've ran into two opponents that have had amazing hands. Just the spells have really lined up well for him. We're down to two. The game showed how good Puffcat Peddler is. Oh, really? Uh, especially Puffcat Peddler plus uh, Chump Wump against Control. Both of those decks are really. Both of our opponents' decks are really, really good against control decks. And yeah, we didn't have we really didn't have much of a chance in either one. They're both really like they're slanted to be control decks and both had good hands. I also think I may have like some kind of Ezreal curse. I've never done well with an Ezreal deck ever. <laughs> like I like maybe I just can't play Ezreal decks or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I have never done well with an Ezreal deck. Ever. Alright, make it rain. Good one to have. This pickpocket could be awesome, especially if we can have it found you. We can use other removal, clear out the way for it. So what do they have? They have their spells are make it rain. Um, which is the one I don't want to see. Warning shots and fury of the north. Like I do, don't. Hopefully they don't have make it rain. Oh come on. Ugh, they did. Save me. 
Oh yeah, Pilfer Ghost. Man, that would have been a great one for me to hit get with Kempunk Pickpocket. The day don't be rich. Let's get to it. Excuse you. No. My deck hand, because I don't think they're playing deck hand. So I think they took mine. Sejuani. Just, you know, trying to level up Ezreal, right? So just targeting both of these. Even though Make It Rain would also kill that thing. So, I don't know, maybe that's not the best target. Success. Get you noticed around here. I want to thermogenic beam this thing, but that just uses nine mana. Can't stop that from happening. I can't stop that from using nine mana. Maybe I just let them. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. Maybe I've just progress day this turn. Born for conquest. Maybe I'll just let them trade. So give me 10 spells, and so then I'd be like required to play something else and get something out of my hand, which I guess would be a puff cap. But that, that's not good, because then I wanted to go parlay Riptide Rex next turn. Uh, I guess I guess we can just burn a spell. It's not Riptide Rex turn. Kind of an awkward turn for us last turn. Like, what do they have in hand if they're just not playing stuff? Said twenty. Unfortunately, with that Omen Hawk, that went to six seven. Omen Hawk still great. biggest unfortunate part of that is Fury of the North, right? Like, we can make this rain, but Fury of the North burst 
stop me. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have just done that the first time. Parlay? Going with parlay because it's slow speed and it's also more likely to work. So I got to cast Make It Rain and see what happened with the Make It Rain first before making any decisions with these other cards. Alright, so if I play Ezreal... Discarding. Obviously, I need to kill Sejuani. Well, then, what am I discarding? Cloud's really good. What if it is it Riptide Rex? Like I, I don't think I like I probably won't play both Progress Day and Riptide Rex, will I? I don't know, maybe I will. I'll just discard Mushroom Cloud. Yeah, I guess I guess it's just good to be able to play either one. Ten damage with all these. Oh, I meant to play the mushroom cloud also. Puts me down to one? Oh, I was thinking that was gonna put me down to two. Oh well, doesn't matter. Warning shot. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't know how to win with Ezreal decks. I just don't I just don't understand how we're supposed to win with Ezreal decks, I guess. I don't know. And I feel bad. You know, like this is a, a donation deck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not doing better. Sorry. I don't. Like Bilgewater Demacia probably doesn't have that much removal or elusive threats, right? So, so so should I keep Ezreal and try to generate Mystic Shots that like kill like Lucian and stuff? It just never that just never works out. <laughs> like no matter how much I like whenever I try that, that just never works out. They have Fleet Feather Tracker. A real battle. Smell that? A fight to cook it. Eyes bigger. Um, charge? Uh, yeah, there's there's not any protection in these regions. Like, yeah, the, these regions don't play protection spells. There's not there's nothing that's any good to try to protect Ezreal with. I'd have to say that pro my my least favorite card in the deck so far has been Reptile Rex, honestly. This has just been sitting in our hand, like, all of these games, we've just had these Riptide Rex. And, like, we have to, like, focus on trying to turn on Plunder, then trying to cast this thing. And I honestly have just been, just been wishing that this card just wasn't in our deck. That we could just have, you know, like, we have the progress days and stuff like that, just have more cheap interaction card draw. I feel like that's what we need, is cheap interaction card draw, and not, like, this 8-mana card that... In a world full of monsters is sitting there that'll never change my opponents have had like the blowout cards for me all the time though like the one mana tricks like elixir of irons now that thing they've really had the, the cards that have been blowing us out so I need three, four, five. Crystal Ranger is going to be annoying. Lucid. Lucid. I always draw the deckhand like after I have like some really bad trade. Like deckhand would have been great before I just used all those parlays. I could just use one parlay. They can uh, challenge and, and uh, kill that thing. <clears throat> but if they do challenge and kill my powder keg, that's Don't not that's three damage I'm not taking. So I would be just fine with that. Oh, next turn's only turn seven, not turn eight.
So at this point, pickpocket against Grizzled Ranger isn't great. So I'll discard that. But yeah, see, like, that's good. Like, we got to save three life with this block here. So, wow, they had a repost? Okay, so, like, they really should not have done that challenge, right? Like, they, they would have killed me. Did not need to do that. Time for a true display of skill. Mega Rain can be good. Dang. Greyhorn Companion? That's, gotta hurt. That's a great card. So we have a plan. Riptide Rex is going to be a big part of this plan. They attack with both things. I cast Mega Rain. Obviously, I got a block there. And then we play Riptide Rex. Alright, so we have a 7-4 in play and a Mystic Shot in hand with no mana. And they have two cards in hand. And they have the attack token. So if it's two... Darn. I'm gonna say if it's two threats, then I lose, but... It was. It was. GG's. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to do. I, it's just the, these damage spells just aren't good enough. Like there's too much, too much good protection, too much efficient, like too many efficient threats and good protection. And these damage spells just aren't good enough. Like Static Shock, Mega Rain, like all these, these da damage spells. We have our opponents have just had awesome hands too every single game, and and that's the thing was we can't beat we can't beat awesome hands with this deck. Like you rely on them stumbling and your cards lining up and things like that. What is the best region combo right now? Probably Bilgewater Freljord. Man, I'm so jealous. I wish I had Kempunk Pickpocket. Oh, I'm so jealous. What am I discarding? I think it's Ezreal, actually. I think Ezreal's our worst card in our, our hand. Um, you know, like, Mega Rain is real good against the Heimerdinger Elusives and also just helps level up Ezreal. And they're they're an Elusive deck. I think they, got, they have a good number of Elusives, so it's not that likely that, that Ezreal... Yeah, like, that Ezreal's just not going to do anything forever. And by that time, hopefully we just draw a different one. Tell me mask, scare me tail, start to die. Get him by. I 
Okay. So I spent five mana, they spent four, and they discarded a card. Glad we discarded the Ezreal earlier and kept the Maker Rain. I think that, that was a good decision. I'd like to get excited and kill Heimerdinger, obviously, but they just protect Heimerdinger and they're happy about that. Yes, yes, again. Not good. Not good at all. Find a line I love. I just wish we had a warning shot. <laughs> like this didn't have blunder. I sure do. You know we're going for the whole Riptide Rex thing. <clears throat> yep. Yay, we kill Heimerdinger. We weren't gonna be able to kill Vi. That wasn't that wasn't very uh, 
very likely, but needed to definitely needed to go on. Oh, cool, Meta War Gaming. This is one of your one of your friends here they're playing against. Well, they're set up pretty well because we're playing an Ezreal deck. I don't know how to win with Ezreal decks. I don't I don't know if I've ever won with an Ezreal deck ever. So we don't have any good lines again. You name it, I'll leave. I don't think we can just take the turn off in progress day. I don't think that's, a, that's anywhere we want to be. Here comes the punch line. I got the kids. Kimpunk Pickpocket's probably just a better card than that 5-2, isn't it? I should probably just be killing a Kimpunk Pickpocket. Are you leveled up, Ezreal? Wow, we have a leveled up Ezreal. That's a first. I didn't attack. Definitely assumed they had... Uh, they were waiting for me to attack and, and do stuff. Six, seven, eight, nine. a close game. They're being very patient. They have eight cards and 13 mana, so it doesn't bode well for us. A lot of cards, a lot of mana. removal spells they just played. Like, the question is, I don't know if I'm supposed to kill Kempunk Pickpocket or kill Vi. So like if I, if I kill Vi, they get to generate two spells. Oh, I don't even kill Vi anyway, do I? Let's see, because... Two, four. Oh, I didn't kill by anyway. All right, never mind. This is this isn't close.
I can do 10 damage to them at burst speed. Primer heals. I mean, they, they already healed once with the, the barrier lifesteal. Primer can heal. You name it, I'll make it. All right, well, now we got him. Might as well just give him some mushrooms right now. Obviously, I don't want to play Rummage right now because we, we're going to be playing both of these and Rummage, so we're going to be whatever we draw, we're discarding. All right, but looks like we got to win. Unless they somehow have... Uh, okay, no, we got priority, so... Whenever they untap and play that immediately. Easy. Like my name. Okay, so uh didn't go too well. Um We got the the Heimerdinger deck, but uh besides that um just a whole bunch of aggressive aggro you know aggressive decks with big things that didn't die to just one damage spells and a whole bunch of um, elixir of irons and rangers resolves and things like that and we just got out tempoed and fury of the north Ugh, fury of the north the rex just looked really really slow um you know like we're trying to stabilize trying to get get all these spells and um, just having to like try to turn on plunder and play Rex, it just was it just never worked. Like Re Rex just never worked in our deck. Um, Parley didn't look that great. Just I mean, I do like how it costs one mana, but just one damage just isn't killing stuff these days. And that's kind of the problem with this in the meta game. It's the problem with the Shadow Isles control decks with Withering Whale is just, is the one damage just doesn't kill things right now. And so Static Shock. You know, never killed anything. You know, like it just doesn't doesn't kill stuff, um, and that's that's really the the main problem that I found with Static Shock and Withering Whale decks these days. Um. <clears throat> yeah, and so I think I think that's like I think that's what like as far as like the this kind of the same thing with like the Spooky Karma deck that we played like yesterday. Like that's that's the problem with Spooky Karma and Ezreal right now. Is their their decks are like their best removal spells like Withering Whale, Static Shock are like the best removal spells with them, and and they just don't kill anything right now. Shadow Isles has Vengeance and Sweepers though. I mean, it has yeah it has one Sweeper with Ruination and Vengeance, and that's seven and nine mana. And the threats are a lot the threats are a lot cheaper than that, and the Nexus damage is quite a bit with like the with. Uh, the you know warning shot plunder stuff um it's tough it's tough yeah heimerdinger making one health creatures that really helped us win right like they they had heimerdinger and then um uh flash of brilliance flash of brilliance and make two three ones and we had to make it rain take out both the three ones like that that was you know that was definitely really important uh heimerdinger making a bunch of one health things 
but yeah, between between how aggressive the decks are and like Fury of the North and and everything, and and then um and then like the Bilgewater Steel cards, like those are awesome against control. Also, it makes it really tough playing control decks like this and the Spooky Karma against the the Bilgewater Steel things, because then they just take your burn spells and help finish you off with your, your burn spells and your removal for your champions. Um, Ezreal's in a tough spot. Yeah. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, let me know what you think of Ezreal. Like, are, have you drawn like the same conclusions? Do you have you have any uh, kind of Ezreal things that you that you've been working on that have been working well with you? Um, you know, feel free to leave those comments over there. Of course, hit that like button and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some pirate Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.